All right, guys, beard advice series time, and today we're going to be strong. Beard strong. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we discuss tips and tricks for your beards. Uh, we do some product reviews, some unboxings, do some giveaways, but we also have this beard advice series where you guys can get featured in your own beard advice series video. All you've got to do is send in a couple of pictures and a little information to the email address you see below. I take a look at it for a few weeks uh, and then you get featured in your own beard advice series video like we're doing today. Try to give you several options to ponder a little food for thought hopefully learn a little something along the way right now the uh the backlog's about six guys or so so three to four weeks is kind of the lag time um before you can get featured so that's kind of where we're at right now and we're up to episode 19 already so if you haven't checked out the first 18 episodes uh go back and check those out Hopefully we'll be doing a little follow up with some of these guys in uh, a little less than a month or so, I hope. Um, but anyway, today we are featuring my man Kenny, uh, who goes by Beardstrong08. That's what I meant from the little teaser at the beginning. Um, and he's been around a while, both on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, he started off doing some uh, product reviews. I really liked his product reviews. Kenny did a great job on those. I miss you doing those. Um, I think kind of life gets in the way sometimes and uh, your focus has changed on what you uh, uh, want to put your extra time into that kind of thing, which is fine. Um, but I always like listening to Kenny because he's got that nice Southern accent. I like it when somebody's got a nice Southern accent. I can kind of relate to that. But anyway, uh, Kenny did have a little bit of a longer beard there. You see, he's got a great looking beard, got the bald head there. Everything's nice and proportioned. He had a little bit of a longer one. He trimmed it back to a medium length. And he said, uh, he, he said, uh, I trust you. Tell me what to do here. I, I'm, I'm thinking about going shorter. So I'm going to talk about a few things there that you could do. Um, first of all, I really like the medium length look. All right, but I've dabbled with this for when a couple of these other episodes, but um, for this one, I kind of got out the paint, the MS paint or the doodle or the whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, but uh, anyway, I took a look at your picture there with the nice dark black shirt on. So I was able to kind of uh, do a little beard trimming. So what you've got right now kind of goes straight down on the side. You got the longer in the back um, and that kind of gives you the square look here and everything's full. Uh, right along here, but I think if we tighten up the stuff on the sides, uh, you can get this look and it'll be a little bit more, instead of everything being round, we can get a little more lines working. So here we go. Tell me what you think. So here's what I came up with. So uh, you're tightening up everything on the sides and then on the bottom, you're not really losing any length, but you can kind of square that off a little bit. And then uh, on the sides, really what you do is um, you take all of this and it kind of comes up to a regular neckline. Like when you're first growing your beard, your neckline goes way up there. You trim down the sides. So you don't have to worry nearly so much about trying to tame the sides and losing all the balm and all the stuff on the sides. It becomes a lot easier maintenance. Um, and, and then it kind of comes through and then your, your goatee is what the area that gets emphasized. That kind of elongates your face there. So I thought it looked really good. I don't know if you guys like my artistic skills or not on this, but I do have a couple of uh, other pictures picked out where guys uh, kind of had this. You can kind of see a little bit more about what they're doing on the sides. So if you take a look at this one, uh, this is kind of the similar look, look about what I was talking about. And if you'll notice on the on the side, it still has a nice line, a nice defined line, but it's a really kind of high neckline up here, like when you first start growing out your beard. Uh, and then all that's kind of kept short through the sides. And then and it gets longer and longer as you get towards the goatee area. And then you've got options to keep it to kind of round the goatee area. <coughs> But I think for you that uh, a little bit square across the very front uh, would look good to give you some more angles. Um, kind of give that's a way to give you more defined line without having to go way down in your cheek line and uh, and get lines that way. Uh, so so there is one option for you. Uh, and then on the sides there, I was looking at your um, at, at your side profile pictures. Uh, when I look at your left side, it looks all kind of nice and neat uh, and it's kind of kind of rounded. I think maybe a little bit more of a square would um, 
uh, would kind of go along with the other things I was mentioning there, try to get a little more uh, definition, a little more lines on it. But what, uh, so if you look at that picture, it's uh, nice and uh, pretty nice and straight down there and stays in front of your ear. But when I looked at the right side, uh, it looked, I don't know if it's the growth pattern or it might be the camera angle or it's playing tricks on me. It looks like the, the hair growth on the right side goes further back and even back um, behind your where your ear is. So it looks like you could kind of square that up off. And I, and I did a little more picture, uh, picture painting here. Um, so here is what it would look like if we squared it off a little bit. And then you come down and uh, you take all that stuff down. You could even use clippers on that. And then you come down and emphasize the goatee area. And you, I, li I like the cheek line where it's at. But if you wanted to consider kind of matching it up with uh, a square, uh, more linear thing on the bottom, you could uh, just take a little bit off there on the very corner of that to kind of get it to, to look a more, little more linear and then still have an ending right there where your lips uh, come together. So don't go, I wouldn't go way down any further than what uh, you already have, but that you could kind of uh, make a little bit more of a right angle there. And that would kind of sharpen up some lines, give you a little more lines to go with the, uh, the nice round head and everything else. Um, so emphasizing the goatee area, so you still need to keep, uh, keep the length on that, but you would tighten up everything on the sides and it'd be kind of the same thing I've got with, with mine. If I were to basically, uh, come up with the sides here, all of this would go away and you start to come in and that's a lot more of a kind of a tapered, uh, starts to look more like a V, v look to it. Uh, and it, it works for a lot of different head shapes, round shapes. Uh, if you already have kind of a square shape anyway going on with hair and that kind of stuff. So it works for a lot of guys and you see it a lot these days. Um, so it's kind of an in style uh, thing right now anyway. But that's what crossed my mind. Uh, obviously, you could go back longer if you wanted to. But for me, the thing that I noticed from that picture was everything's kind of round. And by taking up these sides right here and emphasizing the goatee, you can get some lines going. Uh, and then elongating the middle and bringing this part up, I think, would uh, really kind of uh, make things look a little bit better, um, in my opinion. All right. So once again, it doesn't really matter to me if guys take this advice or not, but hopefully you're at least thinking about some of it. A little food for thought. Um, me encouraging you to try something different. Uh, if you've been doing the same thing for months and months, uh, here in a fresh perspective, giving you some ideas, uh, showing you some pictures of um, things that it might look like uh, if you were to go that direction. Hopefully that's kind of getting your brain churning. And, and I also want to emphasize that if you, if you trim it, it'll grow back. So feel free to experiment. All right, guys, it's nothing to be too scared about. I know once you once you grow out that beard and you take all these months to kind of get it to where it is, you don't want to go back to square one. Um, unless you're shaving completely, you're not going back to square one. I mean, even if Kenny were to do what I suggest and go really short on the sides, uh, he could take two months pretty much and get back to where he was. Uh, two to three kind of depends on his rate of growth and that kind of thing. But you, you just, he would still have all of that length in the front and then he could kind of mess around with where he wants his line to be. I did the same thing a couple months ago. I took my line way up here and actually I took a clipper over the whole thing. Uh, and then over the past couple months, it's still been growing out. I've still been able to kind of keep it looking the best I could at the length I've got. Still trimmed it every three weeks or so. Okay, so you kind of have to get out of the habit of, okay, I'm in a growth phase. I'm just growing, 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 growing. And then what happens then is you either get sick and tired of it and shave it off or you just kind of stay where you're at. So uh, now's the time to experiment, try different options, try different looks, have fun with it. All right, guys, hope this helped uh, and we'll see you in the next one.